Hello everyone. Today, we are going to create the ultimate bootable USB drive that can carry multiple operating systems at the same time, including Windows 7, Windows 10, Ubuntu, and Zorin OS. With this USB drive, you can boot and install any operating system without needing separate USB drives for each one. If you want everything to work perfectly without any errors, make sure to watch the full video till the end and follow each step carefully. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, open this website. This is a powerful bootable media creation tool that supports multiple operating systems in one USB drive. This tool has been tested on various ISO files like Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, and a wide range of Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Zorin OS, Kali Linux, and many more. It even supports Chrome OS ISO files, making it one of the most versatile bootable USB tools available. Now, go to the download section of the website. Here, you'll find three types of files, Windows, Linux, and Live. Since I'm using Windows, I'll click on the Windows file. This will redirect you to the GitHub official release page of Ventoy. Download the latest version from here for Windows. Once the download is complete, move the downloaded file to your desktop. Since the file is in zip format, you'll need to extract it using any zip extractor tool like WinRAR or 7-Zip. After extraction, open the extracted folder and run the ventoy2disk.x file as an administrator. Here, you can see Ventoy's main UI asking for a USB drive. Now, we need to insert the USB drive that we want to make bootable. Keep in mind, if you want to add multiple operating systems on one USB drive, you'll need a larger capacity USB, such as a 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes drive. As you can see, I am using a 32 gigabytes USB drive. Once inserted, reopen Ventoy and click on the refresh button to detect your inserted USB drive. Leave the other settings as they are and click on the install button. A warning message will appear notifying you that the drive will be formatted. Simply click yes and the installation process will begin. After the installation is complete, your USB drive is now capable of booting any operating system ISO file. Now, we need to gather the ISO files that we want to boot. Here, I have four ISO files, which I will simply copy and paste into the USB drive without creating any folders. Once the copying process is completed, close everything and restart your PC. Since screen recording doesn't work before Windows startup, I switch to cam recording to explain the boot time settings. Your PC will automatically boot from the USB and you will see the Ventoy boot menu on the screen. First, we will run the Windows 10 ISO in normal boot mode.
After waiting for some time, you will see that the Windows 10 installation process has started. However, we do not want to install Windows right now, so we will close the setup and reboot the system. Now, let's try booting Ubuntu. This time, select Normal Mode and wait for the loading process. As you can see, our Ubuntu image is fully loaded and ready for installation. At this stage, you can also choose to test Ubuntu without installing it on your hard drive by selecting the Try Ubuntu option. With this, we conclude our video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with more helpful content.